What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Bill and in today's video we are continuing with the tailgate. Now I just posted another video where we installed the turn off-road tailgate reinforcement. If you haven't watched that video go check that out. I highly recommend this. This is the beefiest and strongest solution I've seen but in today's video we are going to install another turn off road product with the tailgate reinforcement you can install your oem or tire carrier on there you can install any tailgate or any tire carrier on there but what we're going to do is install the turn off road tire carrier so we've got this box here we've got something there something here something there box of hardware and this here so this would mount that this would mount to this like so and then this sits on here which this is adjustable so you can slide it out or in as much as needed depending on your wheel offset and tire size and then the camera will sit like so got those figured out i'm not 100 percent sure what those do all right so since when we put when we put the tailgate reinforcement in we reused the factory hardware to install this here and it included new hardware so eight more of these I believe it's a H6 hardware that's going to go and then it's similar it's spaced just like those but it's offset so it's actually lifted up a little bit higher. Now, I probably was supposed to run this wire into here when I installed that because there's a cutout perfectly for that and run that in there. Wanted to do a quick update because we got the tire carrier installed, everything worked. Now when I was installing this, I said something about running the wire through there, through this hole, this wire, through that space that turn off road actually gives you to do so. And I thought to myself, that's going to be really hard to do because this is all together and then you run the wire back through there. So then you have to take it back apart and you don't have to do any of that. You just have to be smarter than me and do things the way turn off road suggests, which is if you pull this back far enough, there's a clip right here. So you can just undo that clip and disconnect that wire harness and the wire harness can stay with the door. It's much simpler. You don't have to undo the cable from there. Then the cable's already in place when you install your mount. To where you can install it properly run the route the wire properly this wire is the camera for the wolf box now if you didn't have this reinforcement bracket it would just use the factory holes that are there on the bronco and there should be eight of them go through put all eight in and tighten them down so i'll just go ahead and do that and check back in here is our camera extension cable now this cable looks exactly like the one on the forward fa facing camera however the camera that we have for the rear camera has uh, several pins and is a different type of connector there was a supplemental and it says basically instead of using this wire they provided this short wire here which should have five wires inside of it 
we strip this back, we can see one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna pull this wrap back a little bit. Some of this wire here. I just wanna make sure that we have enough that we can splice our wires in there. So I'm gonna cut that back a little more actually. And then we just need to go ahead and cut those off of there. We've got our extension wire. Now you see the colors of the out wires don't actually line up, but that's okay. We just need to make sure that we connect the right ones to the right ones. So let's say we've got this white and orange stripe. We've got our wire crimps. And we'll connect that to the yellow. So we just need to remember when we're connecting the other side that the yellow needs to go to the white with the stripe on it. And then we just keep doing that for all of these. And they did provide the connectors here. Why? why they provided those connectors at first, but now I see why. I'm, I'm guessing probably later models just use the, the regular camera, uh, the camera connector instead of these connectors. But being a 2001, 2021, I should say, we get all the fun, weird oddballs that I need to make special changes. So we have black and black, so we'll keep those matched. Doing wire repair, you're really not supposed to do this and have all of them at the same exact spot where you have one big ball of repairs. You're supposed to stagger them, but we don't have enough if we staggered them, that would be the entire wire by the time we were done. Now that they're all on there, we apply some heat to each one. So now on this end, we just got to splice these wires together. Now this side, the colors do matter because we want to reconnect the original colors. So. Like this one, we started with the white with the orange stripe connected to the yellow wire. So on this, we need to take this yellow wire and connect it to this white with the orange one and so on. That way it all ends up being the same paths that there were originally. We're just adding some extra length. So I'll go through and connect all of those and we'll go from there all right so now our rear view camera wire is extended by about six eight inches or so i'm gonna go ahead retape this make sure these are all nice and tight now that they're cooled down and i can handle them i'm gonna retape this whole cord and then we'll get everything set up for the next part all right so got that all tightened up run through there i just tuck i loosened this back up tucked the wire back behind there then ran all the wires up top hey this would be for the brake light like i said that's for my uh this is a power in the ground that i use for the license plate lights and then the new camera just running through here and hopefully that should be enough now the instructions say to 
install the camera on there, run the extension. But since we had to do extra work with the extension, I'm just running it through there. And we'll skip to putting this part together and then we'll run that wire through and then connect the camera afterwards since we're doing this a little bit backwards since we didn't have the nice easy quick connect that apparently other Broncos have. We're going to set that on top and we're going to use three of these are going to be connecting this and then the other four are going to be to connect that to the plate up there. Two washers, one lock nut, and one nut for this. That is going to be our slide, so we can slide it in, slide it out, and then once we have the right position, we'll tighten those down. But well, that'll be good for right now. For this, I'm just going to feed our camera wire through. So here we also have adjustments you can put down here or as high as here to get different placements for your wheel and tire. Uh, I'm just going to put it in the center one for now and we'll see how that looks. So that looks like 18. So we'll go ahead and tighten these four 18 millimeter bolts down and then we'll go ahead and get this all completely connected. All right so now we've got our adjustable tire carrier and connect our camera which should just plug right in that piece that fits right in these tiny little two millimeter screws so I got that tightened down and I suppose before we go any further we should make sure that that camera is working it appears good so throw that tire up on there and then see where we want to position this and then take the tire off tighten that down and then finish up so with that tire sitting on there like that I can see two things first thing is We are pushed all the way in and that's, that should be good. So don't need to really worry about that measurement as we just know all the way tight and tighten it and we'll be good. And that's with a zero offset and these 37, 12, 12 and a half. And that actually works out perfectly, I think. But one thing I do want to adjust is we can lower this a little bit. I'm going to take the tire back off, tighten those bolts, and then lower the entire thing down to the lowest setting, and I think we'll be good to go. And like I said, we can drop that down an inch to these lower bolts. All right, so got that all in there, tightened up. Um, this thing. And with this reinforcement, it is super sturdy. Now we have these other two bars here, which if you have the tail lights, the OEM tail light that comes up off of this, it's a piece of plastic, would screw into here. And then you could screw that in there into several different positions so you can raise or lower it um, as needed for the size of your spare. Unfortunately, uh, somewhere along the lines, I lost that. Since I don't have the plastic piece I need to mount the brake light, uh, I'm just going with this. This slides on there like so. 
And then this one, it doesn't even require any wire splicing. It just plugs in to your factory wire that normally connects to your tail light. And then it still gives you an extra wire that you could still plug in to your tail light or your brake light if you had it. So you could still run both without having to tap any wires. Uh, again, maybe I'll find something for that. But for right now, I'll just go without and use this third brake as my third brake light. So now uh, yeah, that just sits on there and put the spare on top and bolt everything down. Got the tire on there, like I said, uh, we're in as far as it'll go, which is pretty good. I'm curious, it's hard to tell on this slant, because I had to lower the back end because it was rubbing the garage, because I had too much rake. I'm wondering if now that I have all this on there, that squatted it a bit more, but it looks okay, but it's parked on an angle, so I have to get this on flat land to find out for sure. I may have to readjust my shocks to lift the rear up again. If there is any squat, I'm just trying to keep it level. But yeah, let me go ahead. Uh, these top two bolts have lug nuts, have these other bolts inside of them for installing The, and this is the Rough Country license plate holder that I've had for a while. Uh, Turn Off Road does make one. I already had this one, so I didn't bother ordering another one. So this should work and just take those two screws out and that'll screw right in there and put your license plate and a uh, light up there. And get everything wired up and so yeah i'll go ahead and do all that and then we'll take a final look at this there we go we got everything on there tailgate reinforcement tire carrier got the tire so we got the license plate relocation and then uh we have the wolf box camera on there as well um they sell a license plate bracket that I went ahead and installed underneath on the bottom screws there. So it just sticks out there and that seems to work out great. But yeah, so that's it. Uh, that is the turn off road tail kit, not turn off road adjustable tire carrier. I think it's a great complement to the tailgate carrier. I'm very happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, and if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.